members of parliament from different political groups are reading poems here of Ashraf Fayyad. Ashraf is a Palestinian poet who's been sentenced to death in Saudi Arabia purportedly for promoting atheism, which is not true. He denies that. In reality, he's been persecuted because of his opposition uh, to the Saudi authorities. Presently, today, globally, people are reading from his poems to support his fight. And the next colleague you will hear reading in German will be Gabi Zimmer, please. Thanks a lot to have the possibility to support this action, this initiative. I think it's a great initiative and I would like to express my solidarity with Farah Dajjal. And uh, that's why I would like to, to read um, something from his uh, collection of poems, Gebrauchsanweisung <coughs> beigefügt. Ich werde gezwungen sein, meine Erinnerungen zu überlisten und zu behaupten, dass ich gut schlafe. Ich werde alles, was an Fragen übrig bleibt, zerreißen. Die Fragen, die damit begonnen haben, eine Rechtfertigung dafür zu suchen, überzeugende Antworten zu bekommen. Nachdem alle geläufigen Aufzählungszeichen fallen gelassen wurden, aus rein persönlichen Motiven. Lass den Spiegel dir erklären, wie schön du bist. Wisch meine aufgetürmten Worte fort wie Staub. Atme tief ein und erinnere dich daran, wie sehr ich dich geliebt habe und wie sich die Angelegenheit zu einem Kurzschluss gewandelt hat, der beinahe einen großen Brand verursacht hätte in einem leeren Lager. Die Sonne ist sehr höflich in Bezug auf das Öffnen ihres Mundes während des Gähnens. Sie weiß nicht, wie sie vollkommene Kontrolle für die Welt, die Erde ausüben soll. Genau wie die Dunkelheit. Danke. Ich danke Ihnen für die Initiative, meine komplette Solidarität zu Ashraf. I remember that in ancient Greece, poetry is a synonym, synonym of action, and especially action in philosophy and in politics. So I will read two little poet poems in Italian. Si dice che la gente sia come i denti di un pettine, ma non è così. Mi raderò la testa in ogni caso per non essere obbligato al confronto. E un secondo poema. L'amore non è essere un passerotto nella mano di chi ama. Per lui è meglio che dieci sulla pianta. Un passero sulla pianta è meglio di dieci sulla mano dal punto di vista dei passeri. Um, before I became an MEP, I was a poet, I still am a poet. So it's very important for me this connection between creativity, poetry, culture, uh, activism and political action. Um, so I stand in solidarity with, um, with Ashraf um, in his hour of need um, and to stand very strongly against the oppressive Saudi regime. Asylum from Ashraf Fayyad's Instructions Within. Asylum to stand at the end of a queue, to be given a morsel of bread. Stand. Something your grandfather used to do without knowing the reason why. The morsel? You. The homeland. A card to put in your wallet. Money. 
papers that carry images of leaders. The photo, your substitution pending your return. And the return, a mythological creature from your grandmother's tales. End of the first lesson. And I will also read um, from Ashraf's collection, Instructions Within. And this is from the poem, Frida Kahlo's Moustache. I'll be forced to trick my memory and pretend that I have no sleeping problem and rip all the remaining questions, the questions that now justify their search for persuasive answers after all punctuation has been dropped for purely personal reasons. The world this morning resembles my stomach with its ulcers, resembles the ache that spends its weekends in my head, resembles the heaps of broken glass that fill my memory. The world is no longer all right since I've stopped worrying about glass. What's your idea about my days that I usually spend without you? About my words that used to rapidly evaporate? About my heavy pain? about the knots that had sedimented inside my thorax like dried up algae. I forgot to tell you that in the practical sense of the word, I've grown used to your absence and that my wishes have lost their way to your desires and my memory has begun to corrode. And that I still chase light, not because I want to see, the dark always frightens, even when we're used to it. Solidarity. Ich muss ein wenig schlafen.